Welcome to another unboxing. This is the Zyxel Media Router, and I don't think that's the whole name of it, so we're going to go with their proper name, which is the NBG5715. It is blazingly fast. It has concurrent dual band wireless N450 megabit per second, which to my understanding, is actually a first with this particular router. So you can simultaneously stream HD movies, play online games, and web surf. Okay, that's pretty much par for the course for a wireless router. I should certainly hope you can do all of those things. Net USB allows you to share printers and storage wirelessly, which is very cool. All right, gigabit net USB, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Okay, we've got all of that going on. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves on the back. So, uh, beam forming supports ex support extends effective wireless coverage okay quality of service enhances gaming and multimedia streaming okay and five ipsec vpn tunnels secure data transfer fascinating so that's something that i haven't seen as a called out spec on a consumer level route, uh, level router um ever so there you are wireless scheduling allows energy savings so you can turn off your wireless when you're you know at home but sleeping for example or when you don't want your kids surfing the net at four in the morning or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and pull this guy open and have a look at what we've got inside the box. So the first thing is a declaration of conformity, which I'm not particularly interested in. Okay, next we have a utility user's guide, quick start guide, Acrobat reader and project product registration CD. Next we have a warranty card. So let's see how long the warranty is. Uh, we take great pride in our quality, value, and performance and believe this product should offer you trouble-free operation throughout its lifetime. And it doesn't actually say how long the lifetime should be. Fascinating. For further information, visit zexel.com slash warranty. So you can go ahead and do that if you care that much. Hardware installation. So this is apparently a quick start guide. Uh, yes, it says quick start guide at the top. So they show you how to put the antennas on, how to plug in the one, LAN, WAN, LAN, 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 I don't know. DC in, how to plug in the power, okay, how to plug in USB to either a printer or, in some cases, a storage device if you want to go ahead and have a network store device, uh, which is just a USB not powered, but it has a USB interface to your router, and then you can use that as a network share. Okay, we have a WPS set up, how to do that. All right, wow, this thing is huge. This is one of the bigger routers that I've seen in quite a while. So let's go ahead and I'll take the router out, but we're not gonna look closely at that just yet. So let's pull out all of the included accessories and whatnots first. By the way, we have a trial cameraman here today. So, uh, you know, feel free to leave your comments on the, uh, on the YouTube comments. Let me know what you think, you know, good, terrible, ad adequate. All right, we've got three included antennas. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm not going to put those on yet because I'm going to take the plastic layer off first. This has kind of a neat, neat look to it. I mean, I've, I've never really believed that the router should be like a, uh, a fashion statement. But if it has to not, if it you know has to not look stupid, or you have to see it, then it might as well you know look kind of look kind of different. So there you go. It has kind of a wavy finish to it. The insides are kind of matte, and then the top is sort of glossy. Actually, this is glossy too. Let's see how fingerprint resistant it is. Actually, that's not bad. So it's got a bit of sort of smearage going on. But the good news, or bad news, I don't know. I'm about to find out is that it comes off really easily and doesn't scratch too easily. Because a lot of the time, these glossy finishes, especially on routers, I had one router that had a black glossy finish on it, and literally you went like this, and it was like <sighs> the whole thing was just scratched up just from your fingers. Okay, so we've got, uh, that must be WPS. Wow, there's a bunch of different stuff. Okay, so you can turn the lights on and off. You can turn the wireless on and off, so that's a nice dedicated button to have there. Okay, we've got our USB ports, so two of those. I'm gonna, you know what, give me a sec here, guys, because I'm gonna need a minute to find out what all these buttons do. I don't think I've seen this many buttons on a consumer router ever. Okay, we figured it out. Here's WPS. This is wireless on, this is light on or light off. On the other side, these probably are prompting it to look for something on the USB port. Okay, we've got a power switch at the back, DC power in. We have four gigabit LAN ports, and then we have our WAN port. We've also got a reset switch, so there's your hard reset. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw these on. In terms of the other included accessories, there's not a whole lot. There's just a power adapter, which is just your standard wall warp, as well as a yellow Ethernet cable. Very styling, of course. Oh, gold-plated connectors, too. Look at that. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and throw this on here. I actually don't mind the overall layout of this. It's very unconventional, so it kind of sits like this on the desk, and it doesn't appear that there is a way to remove the bottom stand. Um, so yeah, so it sits on the desk like that, and then all of the cables plug in from the back. So thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look at the Zeixel NBG5715 Media Router. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.